Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to solve question number fourth of exercise six point three. And the question says, here the ratio between QR and QS is given equal to the ratio between QT and PR, and the angle one is given equal to angle two. And you have to prove that triangle PQS is similar to triangle TQR. And this is the triangle here. So in this triangle. If this angle one is equal to angle two, which is triangle, this is P, this is Q, and this is triangle R. This this point is R. So here angle one is given equal to angle two, and triangles. We know that if in a triangle, if two angles are equal, then its opposite sides are also equal. Means If angle one is given angle uh, is equal to angle two, then the side opposite to this angle and the side opposite to this angle must also be equal. So we can conclude that if angle one is equal to angle two, then side PQ must be equal to PR. This is because the property of triangle which states that. The uh, side opposite to equal angles are also equal. Side opposite to equal angle angles is also equal. Now this is the first case. Now these two ratios is given to you where Q R. Uh, ratio QS is equals to QT upon QP. I can write this as QR. If I replace these two, will be QT upon is equals to QS. This is PR. So I have written this expression as this. This is important because if I haven't uh, wrote this equation like this, it won't be possible to prove. These two triangle similar. Now let's prove triangle. This is P Q S N in triangle P Q S and triangle T Q R. This is triangle P Q S and triangle T Q R. If I remove this. P R. This figure will look like this. This is T. This is Q. This is R, and this is P N S. This is P, and this is S. Now we are talking about this triangle, triangle P Q S, and triangle T Q R. In those, in these two triangles, we have to prove that these two triangles are similar. For that, angle one. Is common in both the triangles, so angle one will be equal in both the triangles. So we can say that in these two triangles, angle one is equal to angle one. This is common. So one angle is equal in both the triangles, and this ratio is equal, which is Q. Uh, the ratio between Q R and Q T is equal to this. Q, uh, Ratio between QS and this is PR, and PR is basically equals to PQ. So instead of PR, we can write this here PQ. Now, what this means? The ratio between this QR, this is QR, and the QT. So ratio between this and this, this complete, is equals to QS. This. And this PQ. So in a triangle, if one angle is equal and the side containing this angle, or you can say the side including this angle, if the ratio between those sides are equal, then those two triangles must be similar. So if one angle is equal and the side including, or you can say containing this angle, the ratio between those are equal, then we can conclude that. Triangle PQS is similar to triangle 
TQR. So this can be concluded by this property. If you want, to, uh, I can explain you. This is, uh, let's say, this is A, B, and C, and this is D, and this is E. Suppose, and if this angle is equal in triangle this ADE and in triangle ABC, this angle is common for both the triangles, so this angle is equal. And if the ratio between this and this is equal to this and this then these two triangles must be similar same property we have applied here here the figure is rotated and this figure is, is look like this so the same thing is applied here so this is how you can solve this question if you like this video please subscribe to our channel and if you have any problem regarding maths you can directly contact to us the phone number and the email address is given below in the description. Thank you.